Ooh, so check this out. Researchers just found some super old footprints from a family of extinct humans, like we're talking 300,000 years ago. The prints belong to a group of Homo heidelbergensis. Ooh, that's a tough one, but I nailed it. So those dudes were pretty advanced for their time. They were building homes and hunting big animals. But unfortunately, they couldn't handle climate change and disappeared about 28,000 years ago. No, they weren't sissies, trust me. The weather was really tough back then, and they couldn't just go grab a down jacket like you do. So, the University of Tübingen crew made the discovery in Germany, where they found the perfectly preserved prints in a forest by a lake. Apparently, elephants, rhinos, and other critters used to come relax by the lake, and so did this Heidelberg family. The scientists believe they were probably just a family outing rather than a group of adult hunters, since there were little kid footprints too. And depending on the season, they could munch on plants, fruits, leaves, shoots, and mushrooms around the lake. Experts even found tracks from an extinct elephant species they used to weigh up to 13 tons. Now, can you imagine seeing one of those in person? Just so you know, 13 tons is about 45 times as heavy as a pig. Oink. They were digging around in Scherningen when they stumbled upon some elephant tracks that were 21 inches long. That's like the length of a really big ruler. They even found wood fragments in the ruts that the elephants had left behind. But wait, there's more! They also found a rhino print from the Pleistocene era, which is pretty wild. It's the first time they found a footprint from this particular species in Europe. Who knew rhinos had such big feet? Except those whom the rhino stepped on. Meanwhile, over in New Mexico, some British and American archaeologists found some ancient human footprints that date back 23,000 years. They used radiocarbon dating to figure out when these footprints were made, and it turns out they were stomped into the mud during the last glacial maximum. That's when ice sheets covered much of North America and sea levels were lower than they are now. Now, we've always thought that humans first made their way to North America between 13,000 and 16,000 years ago. But these footprints suggest that our ancestors were wandering around way earlier than that. Some people even think that humans might have been hanging out in North America as far back as 33,000 years ago. Although not everyone is convinced. Alrighty, if there were footprints, there must have also been some shoes too, am I right? Well, researchers may not have found signature Gucci loafers, even though they've been around since 1953, but they did find a cave in Armenia full of ancient artifacts from the Copper Age. And guess what? Those artifacts included a seriously well-preserved shoe that's now the oldest footwear ever found. That footwear was made from a single piece of cowhide leather, which is pretty rare today, despite all the fancy-schmancy technological upgrades we've got today. Talk about premium quality! Currently, the coolest modern-day designer shoes are trying to copy this hole-cut technique. The shoe was also rubbed with some kind of plant or vegetable oil for extra durability, and it even had shoelaces that crisscrossed through a series of holes, just like our beloved sneakers today. The shoe was about the size of a woman's US 7, so we're guessing it was tailor-made for some fancy-pants wealthy person. Can you imagine rocking these feet whips back in the day? They were possibly the talk of the town. Now, since we're talking about shoes, have you ever had that gross feeling when you step in something sticky? Especially if you're wearing a brand new pair of white sneakers? No, not what you're thinking. I'm talking about chewing gum. It's a total buzzkill to have it stuck to your shoe. A super cool British archaeology student named Sarah Pickett found a 5,000-year-old piece of Neolithic chewing gum made from birch bark tar while on a dig in Finland. It even had tooth marks in it. Who knew our ancestors were into chewing gum too? Apparently, birch bark tar has antiseptic properties, so it's believed that Neolithic peeps chewed it to help treat mouth and gum infections. So it looks like people have been spitting out gum since the beginning of time. Ah, what a tradition! Prehistoric designers had way more than just shoes to offer to prehistoric fashionistas. You're not going to find such a statement piece in the mass market. And I'm not sure about high-end boutiques either. Yep, it's supposedly the oldest purse ever found. And yep, those are dog teeth used as decorations for a handbag. According to one of the archaeologists, these teeth were all the rage back in 2500 BCE. 
People were putting them on everything, from clothes to jewelry. But this particular handbag was something special. It had over a dozen sets of teeth and was super fancy, which means whoever owned it was perhaps a VIP. Unfortunately, the purse itself didn't survive the test of time. All that's left are these teeth, pointing in the same direction and looking like a modern-day handbag flap. It must have been truly chic back in the day, but it's a good thing we've moved on to more humane materials for our accessories. Did you hear about the dino-sized discovery on Yorkshire's coast? Yep, sometimes scientists discover not human footprints, but dino footprints. This time, they found a record-breaking dinosaur print that could have been left by a predator taking a break 166 million years ago. Can you imagine a T-Rex lounging on the beach with a smoothie in hand? This 3-foot-long fossil, spotted in Berniston Bay near Scarborough, is the largest ever discovered in the region. The team of researchers who studied the track concluded that it was made by a giant carnivore like a megalosaurus. That's one big and hungry dino. The footprint is the largest made by a theropod, which is a group of bipedal dinosaurs that includes the infamous Tyrannosaurus rex. So we're talking about some seriously big and scary creatures here. A paleontologist from the University of Manchester said the discovery had shed new light on the behavior of these carnivorous giants. Apparently, features of the footprint suggest that this large predator was squatting down before standing up. Maybe it was doing some yoga or taking a bathroom break. Who knows? Another archaeologist, Marie Woods, stumbled across the print while collecting shellfish on the shore. She said she couldn't believe what she was looking at. I mean, who would expect to find a giant dinosaur print while picking up some clams? It's lucky that Ms. Woods and Rob Taylor, a local fossil collector, rescued the fragile print from the shoreline. Experts warned that it was at risk of being lost to erosion or landslides. Now, plans are in motion for the footprint to go on public display at the Rotunda Museum in Scarborough. But there's some more dino-mite news! Several drought conditions in Texas have revealed ancient dinosaur footprints that are over 100 million years old. Multiple dinosaur tracks belong to the dinos were recently discovered at Dinosaur Valley State Park in northwest Texas. The droughts have caused a river running through central Texas to dry up almost entirely, which is how these prehistoric prints were finally uncovered. This guy was a real beast, measuring 15 feet and weighing in at 7 tons. It used to roam the area over 113 million years ago, according to the state park. About 60 prints from this dino have been revealed due to the drought, with an estimated 140 tracks from the dinosaur in total. But that's not all. Prints from Saro Poseidon were also discovered. This creature was a massive 66 feet long and weighed about 48 tons when fully matured. Experts believe that the Acrocanthosaurus preyed on Saro Poseidon, which explains why their prints were found together. There's a weird thing, though. Saro Poseidon was bigger than Acrocanthosaurus. Can any professors please explain to me why the smaller dude would munch on the bigger one? That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.